Breaking news as we greet you on this Tuesday. Protecting the animals at Zoo Boise. The city is taking drastic measures to keep the river out of the zoo. The announcement came just this afternoon. KBOI 2's Jeff Platt begins our live team coverage from Zoo Boise with the impact this will have on both people and animals. Brent, you can see right behind me, these are all of the components of the muscle wall that's going to be constructed on the river side going around Zoo Boise, essentially from the Performance Bowl at Julia Davis Park down to the tennis courts. Now, I just spoke with Boise Parks and Rec Director Doug Halloway, and he tells me that this is being done out of an abundance of caution. They don't truly believe that the water will get high enough that this barrier will actually get used, but it is a precaution because they do believe that the time frame for Army Corps of Engineers and water managers to relay how quickly and how much they're going to be raising river levels on the Boise River is going to be slimmed down from three or four days down to about 24 hours. And if that's the case, 24 hours is not enough time to relocate all 200 or so animals that live at Zoo Boise. So this is being done as a way to give them more time. They are hoping it does not have to be used at all. However, it will, through its construction and while it's in place, create road closures through Julia Davis Park. Reporting live in Boise, Jeff Platt, KBOI 2 News. Jeff, thank you. The Boise River is now running at more than 9,400 cubic feet per second at the Glenwood Bridge. That is one of the largest flow rates this season and, in fact, one of the largest in history. Always keep